Hey, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you how to set up the emulation station on your Steam Deck from A to Z. If you already have Emu Deck on your Steam Deck, this process is going to be super easy for you. To make the PS3 games show up in the emulation station is a little bit tricky, but I will include that process in the last section of this video. First, I want to talk about what's emulation station and what it can do. The emulation station is a software that will put all your emulation games in one place so you can launch them from there. Also, the emulation station will add some fancy artwork and short clips to enhance the whole emulation experience. If you have lots of emulation games in your Steam library, it will look crowded and slow down the system. In this case, the emulation station will be really handy. Another useful case of emulation station is if you want to make your emulation interface look unique and have a little bit of taste of your own. The emulation station offers tons of themes that you can use and customize your emulation interface. With the new updated emulation station, we can now download all the themes inside the emulation station itself. So swiping themes is pretty easy to do with emulation station now. Let's enable emulation station on your Steam Deck first. I am assuming that you already have emulation games and emu deck installed on your Steam Deck. So let's put the Steam Deck into the desktop mode first. Once we get into desktop mode, just open up your email deck, then go to custom reset. Click next until you get into this page. We need to make sure the emulation station is turned on here. And then click continue. On this page, the emulation station should be on as well. Most of the time, you should already have them turned on. This is just a double check if they haven't been turned on. So please turn them on and keep clicking continue to finish the custom reset process. Otherwise, we can go back to the main menu. Next, open up the Steam Room Manager. Under Pathers, make sure the emulation station is switched on. Then click Preview. Next, click Pathers. On this page, just click Save to Steam. Now we can switch back to the gaming mode. Now you should see the emulation station show up under your no Steam library. At this point, you have successfully enabled the emulation station on your Steam Deck. One of the best things about emulation station is that there is zero setup required. Once you open the emulation station for the first time, it automatically scans all your emulation games and categorizes them based on the gaming console. You can start playing your game right away. The emulation station significantly enhances our emulation experience compared to just launching game individually. It automatically adds box art and preview video clips for most of our emulation games. Additionally, you can create your favorite game list inside the emulation station, allowing for quick and easy navigation. Ok, now let's add game box art and preview clips. As you can see, the NES games I have here do not have any box art or preview clips right now. Now let's press the select button first, then select Scraper. For Scrape From, select the game SDB. This one has the highest success rate. But if you couldn't find box art for your game, then you can try the other one. For the second row on this page, select All Games. Then for scrape those systems, I prefer to select one system each time. I highly recommend do this way if you have lots of emulation games. It will take too long if you try to do them at once. So here I will only select NES. Then I can go back and we can select the start menu to begin adding box art and preview clips to the NES games. We can see the emulation station is now searching for the box art and the preview clips. It took about 35 seconds for 4 games here. After it's done, it will show this confirmation message. Click OK. Now if we go back to NES, all box art and preview clips are show up here. I think they look pretty cool. Not all the emulation station themes have preview clip features, but if you use a theme that supports preview clips, it will just show up. Also remember, if you change the emulation station theme, you don't have to re-scrape the box art and preview clips. They are shared with all themes. Now let's install some emulation station themes to make your emulation interface looks unique. First, press the select button, then select UI settings. Next, click theme downloader and click process on this window. It will take about 20 seconds to load up all the themes. 
Then you can pick any themes that you like from this list and press button A to download them. There are lots of themes that we can download from here, and each theme will have different variants and color schemes, so it really offers lots of flexibility. Here I just downloaded two themes. Once the downloading is finished, then you can go back to the UI settings. Next, go to theme, then select the theme that you just downloaded. Then press button B, the new theme will be applied. Another great option we have here is usually each theme will have several different color schemes so we can switch between them. Here I can change to golden color or Sega style. The emulation station theme has so many things that we can customize and make it fit into your old taste. I usually switch to different themes each month so it gives me a little bit different feel to my emulation library. I am pretty sure you will find some theme that fit into your old style. If you have so many games in your emulation library, to create a favorite list is the best thing you can do. Inside the emulation station, we can create a favorite game collection by pressing the select button, then go to game collection settings, select automatic game collections. Here just tick the box after favorites, then if we go back, the favorite collection will show up. We can add any games into this collection by simply go to any emulation game and press button Y. Here I will quickly add a few games into my favorite list. Now if I go to the favorite connection, all the game I just marked as favorite will show up here. If you want to remove the game from the favorite list, just select the game and then press button Y. The emulation station will automatically recognize most of the gaming consoles, but not PlayStation 3. In the last section, I will demonstrate how to make PS3 games show up in the emulation station. First, I am assuming that you already have functioning PS3 games on your Steam Deck. If you haven't set up your PS3 games, you can check out this video on my channel. The setup process needs to be done in the desktop mode. So let's put the Steam Deck back to its desktop mode. First, go to Games and open up the PS3 emulator RPCS3. Then pick a game that you would like to add into the emulation station. We only can add one game each time. Here I will select Skate 3. Then press L2 shoulder button. And create a desktop shortcut. Then we can close the PS3 emulator for now. Next, click the desktop shortcut and select properties. Go to applications. After program, click browser. Make sure you turn on the show hidden file first. Then navigate to the location as I show on the screen. Once you get into this window, just select Net RPCS3 RPCS3, then click Open. The next thing is very critical, so make sure you do it correctly. Inside the argument box, we need to remove two percentage symbols here. There are four percentage symbols here. We will remove one from each pair. Make sure there is a space between the first percentage symbol and no GUI. Just double check and make sure you have the same format as I have here. Then we can click OK. The final step is to move this desktop shortcut into your PS3 ROM folder. So here I will just select cut and paste it into my PS3 ROM folder on my SD card, since all my PS ROMs are stored on my SD card. If your PS3 ROMs are stored on the internal storage, then you need to move this shortcut into your PS3 ROM folder on your internal storage. So basically we just put the desktop shortcut into the same folder as our PS3 ROMs. Then we can close everything and switch back to the gaming mode. Now if I open the emulation station, the PS3 will show up in the console list, and the Skate 3 games are presented as well. We can now launch the PS3 games from Emulation Station. For sure, you can also add box art and preview clips for the PS3 games as well. 
If you want to add more PS3 games, just repeat the same process. This is the last thing, also the best thing I want to mention here about Emulation Station. When we usually add a new emulation game into our Steam Deck, we have to go to Emu Deck and click Parsers each time in order to have the game show up in the gaming mode. But with Emulation Station, now you don't have to do that anymore. All you need to do is adding your game ROM and then open up Emulation Station. Your new game is ready to play from the Emulation Station. And this works for every single emulation system. After Emulation Station is set up on my deck, I will usually delete all the emulation games from my no Steam library since I can now play all my emulation games from Emulation Station. So eventually, I will only have Emulation Station under the no Steam game tab. I just want to keep my Steam library looks more clear and organized. The best way to delete no Steam game is switch into desktop mode and open up your Steam library. Then use Ctrl key on the keyboard to select multiple games at once. Then click remove them from your Steam library. So eventually you should only have PC games and emulation station left inside the Steam library. Then after we switch to the gaming mode, we will only see the emulation station under the no Steam tab. For anything under connection tabs can be removed one by one. After everything cleans up, now you have one dedicated place to access all your emulation games. That's pretty much all for this video. If you think this is helpful, don't forget hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and enjoy your gaming.